Hi, everyone. I'm hoping that the lighting is going to be better in this video, you guys. There is a fan going in the back on the baby while she naps. Apologize in advance for that background noise, but I'm going to try to project, okay, so we can hear me still. We're just uh, finishing up from Marlo's uh, live with Chai. So, <laughs> hi, Sunsaray. Thank you for coming on over. I'm doing color today, y'all. Yesterday was kind of just like the li red lip was the focus, but today, today we've got the eyes. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to finish up. Yesterday, after I watched through the video, minus the duplicates, we did 112 lip swatches. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so we got Angie, Girly Girl, Sun Saray, Daphne, Yachty. We got Gwendolyn. What's up, everybody? Thank you for coming in. Please like on your way in. Let's just go ahead and get that out the way. Hi, <laughs> love we. Hi, Maria. All right, so I have everything else. And to me, it looks like it's gonna come close to 100 again. So we'll see. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but we will see. I had to make sure that my arms was out so I could do my swatches. Nikki, Raquel, welcome, welcome. Welcome me, welcome you. Um, on my community page, you guys will see a link to Marlo's channel if you are not yet subscribed or if you just want to share, you know, the uh, notification to subscribe. It's already there for you. Get my little thingamajig out. I do have my fan on deck because it's still muggy. And Hubs came home late, so we didn't get to go to the storage this time. But yes, so I'm going to move the things out of the way that I already reviewed. I mean, review swatch. There we go. Yeah, all of those. Okay. So um, I'm just going to reach for the things that aren't in their uh, respective storage cases at the moment. Hey, Elaine. Yep. We're just starting. Hey, Kima. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. These are still um, the same um, sister, same J-Bay Ferenz fashion. These earrings here, dresses from Target. You would have seen this in my Target haul video for designers for Target. God is my everything. Welcome. Thanks for coming through. So let's just jump right into it. I got some um, Givenchy lipsticks here. And you know what? One second, y'all, because I forgot I had some in this drawer. You see me just... No, these aren't heavy at all. Oh my goodness, they're super lightweight super super lightweight let me just grab these two just saying Givenchy reminded me that I have Guerlain lipsticks <laughs> that I keep in this drawer so now we've got everything all right let me get you back where I had you I think that's about good okay let's start here so we love a good customizable lipstick don't we so we've got Guerlain right here and their lipsticks are called rouge uh g yeah rouge g refillable lipsticks um i do not recall the numbers of these but when i give you guys the description i will definitely include the number just two for now one is a neutral for me like a nude and they're both matte comfort matte of course hopefully you can see these swatches better because a lot of my video yesterday was a bit washed out so I want to make sure that you guys can really see this and you can choose whatever cap you want the caps come with a mirror inside so like when you're on the go you can just quickly touch up you know you can look in right in here and these actually don't close unless you have the lipstick in it so it goes like that and then that's the only way it stays closed so as soon as you pull out your lipstick your mirror opens up really cute really really cute and then I have a really nice orange nice matte orange and I believe this is number 44 because I wore it recently and so I had to put it in the description box but yeah this is number 44 so there she is 
yeah, these have a really nice texture. Very, very comfortable. And these, this is my birthstone. So I had to get that one, the yellow one. November babies. Oh, you did? Yeah. Of course. And so um, I'm actually going to go ahead and just move forward without wiping those off and show you my Givenchy lipsticks. And these are some of those limited edition caps. These two are from the new customizable collection. They're like faux leather. Hey, Chai. All right. Pat down again. You know how it goes. Makeup's not going to fail me, though, because you know I got that good stuff. So this one here is from the Lunar New Year of 2020. Beautiful, right? And it is the La Rouge Orange Absolute number 316. This is a satin satin lipstick. Can we tell I love orange lipstick? <laughs> Man, look at this color, y'all. Golly. That is such a pretty orange. It's got that nice, like, perfect, perfect orange peel vibe. So I love that one. That's orange absolute. Here is one of their velvet matte formulas and the lipstick case is actually velvet. I love that. So beautiful. It has the Givenchy logo here, the name Givenchy on the side, and then it has the studs, which are the, where you hold to pull the cap off. Very pretty. This one is called number 14 Ro Rose Bozy or Boys. I really like this color. This is also a, um, like a velvet matte finish. Look at that color. My goodness, right? Such a beautiful color. And then from the newer caps, these, um, they came out with like a rouge collection that was like different variations of red. And you um, would pick the cap that you wanted to go with it. And that's the case for, well, that's that hasn't been the case in the past where you could pick the cap. So this is like a new thing for Givenchy. And so I, of course, chose this really pretty soft blue with these little um, silver studs on it. And this color is Granite Volontaire, number 334. I'm gonna put it up here. It's a beautiful raspberry, cranberry. No, cranberry is usually brighter. I'm gonna give this raspberry. And the last one here that's in the floral packaging is number 306, Carmen Escarpine. And I'm going to put it on the side. Mm. There she is. So these are just, you know, incredibly wearable lipsticks, easy to reach for, easy to carry with you. And um, apologies for the light that's dancing all over me. Let me lean back a little bit. There we go. You guys can see those uh, swatches okay, right? Make sure I'm not melting up. There we go. We're still in good shape. Hey, Lock Maiden. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> now I've got to step into, and I'm surprised that oh, I do have more of them. I was like, why didn't I bring this down? Yeah, let me bring this down too, because I want to do Dior next. We're gonna do Dior next. I have six lippies that we're gonna go through for Dior. 
and these are glosses and stains. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Locke. Appreciate it. So I'm going to start with these because these are um, the newest of the two that I'm going to show you. And these are the, um, hopefully I can read the name, Dior Addict Stellar, Stellar Glosses. This one is number 874. Lord have mercy. Shiny D. The, the, the writing is, it's a transparent sticker with black writing on it. So it's very hard to read. But um, yeah, this shade is Shiny D. And it's the stellar lip glosses. So there's a lots of like beautiful shimmer to help the light reflect. Thank you so much, Magical Mom. Hey, Marlo. We're just talking about you a minute ago. But that isn't that just so pretty? The perfect amount of um, pigment. It's got a great shine to it, non sticky, of course. This next one here, it's very pretty pink, number 765. And this is Ultra Dior. Love the applicators on this one. It's a nice, fat, round doe foot. Reminds me of the Dior um, lip oils. Same kind of applicator. So there's Ultra Dior. It's a really beautiful pink. And the last one I have is a nude, and it is 630 D Light. And here is D Light. Next are lip stains. And these are called, this is what they look like with the little Dior like ball on top, just like these. And they are black with that, like they look like a lipstick floating inside resin. Very cool. I love the way these are packaged. And these are the Lacquer Plump, Dior Attic Lacquer Plump. So this one is, God, I hope I can read this it is hard to read number 777 Dior Lee yeah and these come with like a standard applicator that's just kind of slanted a little bit it's kind of like a much thinner consistency um, but it still packs the pigmentation on as you can see one swipe will stain your lips um, and as it, as the shine wears off, the, the color will stay. So that's Dior Lee, really pretty purple, kind of like almost pink. And then you've got this really pretty, this is, this is, I don't know what I would call this shade, but the name is 926, good grief. When I tell y'all this is tiny, I don't normally have a problem reading these, but this is so small. D Fancy. There we go. This is D Fancy. Yeah, this comes out like a very deep shade. It's like a deep plum. Blackened plum. And last but not least is the only lip stain that I've ever purchased twice because it's just such a unique color. As you can see, it reminds me of the sh same tone as Madame Grage from Pat McGrath, but a totally different formula. And so this is called Dior, oh my God, I can't read that. It's number 516, Dior Yves. There we go, Dior Yves. And it is such a pretty, oh, I wanna make sure y'all can see that. It's just such a unique color. I love it. Yeah. 
Is it? Because <laughs> I'm still sweating. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, Elaine. I got I to gotta have some for every mood. Hey, Tiffany, how you doing? That feels so good. Thank you. Look at you. And when I say stain, look at that. No games, all right? And that's gonna take a minute, hold on, because they really do stain. So you can eat with these, you can wear your mask over these. They're fantastic. Well, really quick, because they're laying here in front of me, I'm going to show you my Christian Louboutins. I only have four, so this will be real quick. I have two glosses, which are called the Lubilac. And then I have two matte lipsticks and um, just one for every mood, you know? One is called Zulu. I don't have my, my um, boxes with me. They're, like, tucked away. But... This is Zulu. I know Zulu when I see her because you see how much I've used her. This is such a beautiful nude. Mm. These do retail for $95, but Nordstrom um, does have sales on them. And sometimes you can catch them on sale. One of these I paid $75 for. So, I mean, that's about as good as it gets, right? <laughs> I do. I feel like you should have at least one. I feel like you should have at least one. And the the lip glosses are 85. So, I mean, <laughs> I don't know how much of a difference that really makes. But, you know, just throwing it out there. But this is that Zulu shade. I mean, can you even deal? That is such a beautiful nude. And then I have this really gorgeous red shade. Look at that shade. Yeah. Again, if I don't remember the name of something, like right off the top of my head, I will find it when I go to list it, like I did for the Carolina Herrera lipsticks. I went and um, jumped on the Herod's website after our live and got the names for you. So that is my red. So I got a red and a nude. You know, like I didn't want to go crazy. It, they are $95 <laughs> per matte lipstick. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, I'm not going to wear the little string that comes with it, that ribbon they give you to wear around your neck. I'm not doing all of that. But that does not take away from the fact that you pull this out your purse, and this is a conversation starter. And it has some nice weight to it. It's not too heavy. And I just love, it's inspired by Cleopatra. Like, wow, you know? Each finish for these comes with a different component. So that's how you differentiate without even opening it. Just so you know. And then here we have the Luby Lax, which come in the clear, clear sort of scalloped container. <laughs> Can I try on the red? I really don't want to try anything on because um, I'm wearing this really pretty gloss. But um, I'll I'll double back in my um, my photo album and I'll post in the community page when I wore it. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and show you these two. I have um, I think this is Akhenaten. And then I don't remember the name of this one. I do apologize. But this was the first one. This is actually a Christmas gift from my mother. And I said, if I just get one, if I ever just get one, I want it to be a shade like this. Because I love how opaque that is and how shiny they are. You know, like it really reminds me of trying to compare it to another lip gloss formula that I have. These click to close, by the way, these glosses. So you know that they're closed. I don't oh man you know what i don't have with a dope foot applicator i don't have a gloss formula like this but this this formula reminds me of the lip sheets from chance 
So in the, in the sense that it really hugs your lips, it gives a lot of pigmentation. It lasts for a while. It feels very nourishing. It's non-sticky, like all of those elements about that. It reminds me of that, but I mean, I just feel like Louboutin Beauty does a really great job with their products, both in packaging and in like formula. I haven't, even though I haven't tried the cheek products just yet. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of hoping to do that maybe next week. We'll see how the money's flowing. But, um, you know, like I really want to try those. But just from what I can see, it is on par with the rest of their products. I love their, um, first of all, their base and top coat from their nail polish line is really, really cute. Like I would highly recommend picking it up because it actually does help the longevity of their nail polishes. Um, their nail polish colors are gorgeous and unique and I love the system that they have to kind of differentiate the, the collections. Um, their liners are really fantastic. Um, what else? Yeah, and their lipsticks are like, the formula is beautiful. You are definitely paying for the fact that it's Louboutin Beauty but you're also not getting a bad product. You're not getting, you know, you're not getting a cheap product. The product is still a very good product. Oh, I'm sorry, I have one more to go. So that's Akhenaten, which is the nude that I have. Very pretty nude. So there you go. I got a bold lip and then a nude lip in the gloss as well. So that's what I want. And you can easily just get one of each. Uh, they have sheer formulas. If you prefer a sheer formula, I believe um, Michelle Wong, you know, she likes a sheer tint. She has um, some of their shears. So you can have a look at her Louboutin collection to see those. Um, they have a satin formula as well. Um, so you can have a look at that too. So matte satin sheer for the uh, lipsticks. And then they have Lubilax that come in solid and in shimmer. And then, of course, you guys know, I love their liquid eye products. I have five of their liquid eyeshadows <laughs> that I love so much. And it's just $50. I don't think, I think that, like, that's the most affordable product for, like, what you get out of um, all of their products. But, yeah, moving right along. That's all my Louboutin Beauty. So I'm going to get into YSL next because I have a pretty good amount of those. No, that's the same one twice. <laughs> there I go again. I have the same lipstick twice, you guys. <laughs> Can't help myself. Yeah, this is more YSL. Mm -hmm. I definitely have quite the abundance. Oh, shoot. I forgot my Natasha's. Hold on. Natasha Denise. Yeah, for sure. So I'm going to start with the balms because I really love these. How pretty these are. And these you can get at the luxury beauty store. Goodness gracious. You can get these at the luxury beauty store. Um, it's, a it's just like cosmetic company store, except it sells, um, I think, Lancome products. Like, the, under the parent company Lancome. How many hours of wear do I get from the lipsticks or the lip glosses from um, Louboutin? Because Louboutin matte lipsticks last all day long. Those last all day. I think that you get a really good, I want to say about four to five hours from the glosses. But for the lipsticks, that's all day. All day for me. Oh, Duchess. Hey, sweetheart. Um, I'm doing fantastic. 10, 10, well, five minutes to 11 for you, girl. Get your beauty sleep, please. Because you have been out there working hard, too. I hope you guys are all following Duchess. She's bringing us um, beautiful UK beauty. Mm. 
That's right. But as you can see, these are like really, really gorgeous. These are the Volux Shines. And I feel like I have some more YSL in this in this drawer here. These are for all my like lipsticks that I only have a couple of or um, that I don't have a place for, really. Here we go. Yeah, I know I had at least one more. So this I picked up at one of the um, luxury beauty stores in California. Killian Lipsticks. Killian Lipsticks, the texture reminds me of the Velvet Formula from Givenchy. So I think that comparing it to YSL, I haven't, I don't have any matte formulas from YSL and I don't have any satin formulas from Killian. So I can't really compare those two. Hi, Nao. Oh no, my husband is just wiping himself. It's, it's hot in here. He's not getting dressed. <laughs> He's just, they can see you wiping the sweat off your neck with your t-shirt. So they thought you were getting dressed. <laughs> Um, there's a popsicle. I have some really nice Trader Joe's popsicles in there. You gotta try one, baby. It'll cool you off. They're delicious. They're the ones that have three different fruits on them. They're so bomb. I'm gonna get one after this. Okay, so this lippy is like a, a stain, but it's in like gloss form. So it's like they're tall containers. And the number for this. It says 62R500, but that's an in-house code. And this writing is entirely too small. I will look this up for you guys, and I'll let you know what it is. <laughs> Janelle. Did, remember when he danced for y'all? He's so funny. Really love this color. It almost looks like the Tom Ford that I'm wearing, except a little more blue. And then I'll show you the Volup Shines. This is 139, number 139. Again, I will find the correct one for you. I believe this is limited edition packaging, the Leopard. But this is my kind of color. It reminds me of like very close to Val de Vere, except less purple from Tom Ford. I mean, look at that. And this packaging is unreal. There's glitter all over the leopard print. And then it gives you that window into the color underneath the YSL logo. Um, I haven't tried the Rowan glosses, although I did see when they came out. This is a Volup Tint Balm in this beautiful orange shade. And I believe the Volup Tint is um, you can tell which one that is by the little lip print that's in the middle there, which is supposed to be like a little extra burst of moisture. This one is very sheer, very sheer, but it definitely does show up. The color will still show up on you. It still gives you the same shine as the first one though. Stop, for real? Made a Trader Joe's run yesterday. $215 later, Vicky is influencing popsicle purchases. Add to cart. I'm not safe around here. Oh my gosh, you are going to bug out. I believe the top layer is, what's that flavor? I think that's raspberry. And then it's like peach mango in the middle. And then it's strawberry on the bottom. Girl. And you only get four in a box. Why did they, why is it only four in the box? I was like, I got to savor these because I only have one box. But next time I go back to the store, you better believe I'm getting another one. Okay. This last one here is the Rouge Le Verre's lipstick. So this is the one with the black heart in the middle. Okay. Sit. I mean, I'm, I'm in the middle of something, baby. You can't sit on my lap. You want to say hi? Mm. Mm. Shamada with the baby, huh? Mm. Nala, you cannot sit in my lap right now. Mm. Mm. Okay, you don't have to say hi. That's all right. But I know that the next step is you messing with these lippies, and that's what I don't want. So I'm, I'm not going to let you sit in my lap. I'm sorry. 
But your tablet should be charged. Right under your pillow. Mm -hmm. You want my fan? Here. All right, so those are all my little, like, nice tinted balms from YSL. Go ahead and fan yourself, boo boo. And get your tablet. It's under the under the pillow. It's charging while you're sleeping. I have these cute little, and I have them engraved. You can have what I really love about ordering from the website is that you can have them personalized. So cute. Um. Yeah, these are the Water Satin Glow lipsticks, and this is number two seventeen. So this is what those look like. Very, you know, water thin formula. Still gives a bit of a stain. It's like a light stain. I wouldn't say this is gonna like completely cancel out your lip color, but it's like a nice light stain. So I have that one and then I have number 611. Whenever I order from the website and it's customizable, I, I customize it. Just because it doesn't cost anything extra. So that's number 611. Thirsty? Are you thirsty? Mm -hmm. Go get it. It's in the fridge. Nice and cold. Mm -hmm. Let me love on this baby for a minute. Come here. I said, yeah. Come on, you can unplug that. Did you unplug the heater, honey? Why don't you bring that over here and put it in the window? The fan. No, put it in the window. It's loud as hell, though. That's all I'm saying. It's going to fall? No, it's not going to fall because Nala's not going to touch it. <laughs> there should be an extra outlet on that. Yeah. Turn it our way. You feel that, Nala? Wrong way. That's the right way. What? You're the wrong way. No, you're not. I know what you're trying to do. I know what your sneaky butt's trying to do. Yeah. still hear me okay or am I being drowned out by the fan? Please let me know. Because if I'm being drowned out, then I can plug in the microphone. No, this is an old house, girl. No. <laughs> this doesn't, this home does not have central air. I wish it did. It has one of those like big furnaces in the front for like heat, but it does not have built-in air conditioning. Amara, she says mic is needed. So I'll go ahead and put a mic in. All right, I'll put a mic in. Yeah, I'm gonna put a microphone in, one second.
No, I just don't have one, Vix. I don't have another one. I just have one. <laughs> Let me know if it sounds better with the mic in. Kids. Oh. How's that, you guys? Is that better? Can you hear me over the mic of the fan? Thank you, Christine. Nala, what is it, sweetheart? I need my lap. I, you can't sit on my lap while I do this. Okay. Yes, Shamika, I will. My husband will get it tomorrow on his way home from work. All right, you guys, tattooage, liquid lips. These are, can you distract her, sir? She wants to sit in my lap and she can't. Let's sit in daddy's lap. This shade is number 201. Ooh, I forgot how nice that was. <laughs> 201 Tattooage Lipstick from YSL. This next one is number 210. Again, that's my favorite. And then we have 209. And these are very soft, matte, comfortable liquid lips. These next ones are the standard lipstick formula called Rouge Pure Couture. The first one I'm going to show you is number 53. Satin formula. Looks a lot like that liquid lip. I, I definitely have a type. Next one is number 97. And the last one is the Zoe Kravitz YSL collaboration, shade 212. Another nude. More cool tone than the last nude. Let me grab another white. Oh, I can't believe that's all my YSL. All the way so and I've done these already so let me move these out of the way um, yeah I'll stick to what I have in front of me I have all the Fenty glosses the gloss bomb creams and then I have Oh, I just have one. I got rid of the old original gloss bomb, but I have the ch uh, hot chocolate and then the rest are the gloss bomb creams. So this is hot chocolate. Oh, the lashes I'm wearing are Huda Beauty Lengthy Lashes number 19. 
No. 23? No, it's 19. Here's hot chocolate. My new favorite from the gloss, the regular gloss bomb. Next one. The, the rest of them are all gloss bomb cream. And um, we've got cookie jar. So pretty. Cookie jar. Honey waffles. We've got Fenty Glow, so the Gloss Bomb Cream in the original Fenty Glow. I can't see. Please don't move that. Fruit Snacks. And Mob Wives. So those are all the Fenty glosses that I have. And then I'm gonna move into my Fenty lipstick products next. So I just have these cute little matte moiselles. I have two full size, no, three full size and two travel size. Hey, Auntie Kathy. No problem. I'll send it to you after the live. It's the it's my YouTube name with the dollar sign in front of it. You know, you guys, I've seen the full-size Mademoiselles on the Sephora website for just $7. So that's less than half off. Does it? Make sure it looks peel. Is it, maybe it's not, um, hmm. I don't think that they're very nourishing, but I do think they feel good. Like, I don't think they're nourishing the way that like Pat's formula is nourishing. Um, YSL, Chantecaille, like those are actually nourish, nourishing and help moisturize your lips. I think that the gloss balm is just like it just coats your lip, you know? So that's probably why. Yeah, they're, they're dirt cheap now. I would highly recommend getting some. These, this one is pumpkin, pumpkin rouge? Pumpkin rose. This one's pumpkin rose. Yes, I remember. <laughs> the next color is I Quit. Yeah, they're, they're being discontinued. I Quit is another one of those like grayish, mauvey, like mauvey grayish tones that I really, really like. Hi, Wild Honey, welcome. And Tiger Teeny is the next one. I do feel like Freckle Fiesta is something that I should have in my life. This is Tiger Teeny. And then from the minis, I have Thick with two Cs. I haven't had a problem with coverage on these at all. There's thick. And then the last one is Flamingo Acid. This is amazing. That was one swipe. So Flamingo Acid is stunning. Oh, 
cool. I'll just let everyone know that you said the Maybelline lip glosses, lip glosses, I'm assuming, are a good dupe for Fenty glosses. <laughs> Why is this drawer open? We're not, we're not doing that right now. So those are all my Fenty lippies. Why don't you give her some ice cream? Make her eat at the table. All right. What else do I want to do next? I think I want to do my Bite Beauty next. because <laughs> they swear we still they still swear we do makeup for them guys think we do makeup for them and it's funny to me like sir no pulling out all the bite beauty because i have quite the the collection of bite beauty lippies <clears throat> I'm gonna have to buy her another pair of Bluetooth headphones because I actually miss when she had them. <laughs> okay, so this is about Fenty or Bite Beauty. I think that's all my bite beauty. Yes. Okay. Now I can get to swatching. So here are my bite beauty lip crayons. And I had them from like different, different times that they repackaged. So I've got one from like every era. This is so funny. I think these are the originals. <laughs> they were just straight cylindrical and matte with no indication except the name like on the sticker on the bottom and this one is framboise and then that's how you know what color it is when you actually open the cap so that's framboise and this is basically a lipstick and crayon form very pretty very pigmented bite beauty's always been like clean but now they're vegan as well And then the next version of packaging they came out with actually had the color on the bottom. And this one in particular is Glacé, another kind of pale nude for me. I'll give you a little more. There we go. Find these really, really pretty. The next one. This is called Damask. Is this dark? Yeah. This one had the bite cap where they have like a little bite taken out of it. And that's the only thing they really changed. This shade is a really deep aubergine. And then lastly, the logo matches the color. And this shade is no Mino. So those are all my lip crayons. And then I'm getting into the Amuse Bouge lipsticks. And these were the first time that like outside of the Agave collection that I actually, wow, that's a lot of light beaming on my face. <laughs> it was the first time that I actually like got excited about makeup from Bite Beauty was the Amuse Bouge lipstick line because they were so incredibly pigmented and just stunning. So this one's Chai and I believe this is the first one I got. Here's Chai.
These smell like lemons. Like fresh lemonade. Dragon fruit. There's dragon fruit. Such a special shade. Spritzer is the next shade. This one's got a little more drag to it, but there's Spritzer. Another fun color. I really love this color. And my last one is Gazpacho. This is such a pretty red. Hi, Angela. Happy Sunday. The last few that I'm going to show you, I have two, four, six, eight. The last eight I'm going to show you are from their multi sticks. So you can use them on face, cheek, and eyes. Lip, cheek, and eyes. I'm sorry. I have a couple that are prismatic. So they're iridescent. And then I have some that are matte. This first one is called Oyster Pearl. Wait till you see this. This on the eyes. You got a good look at that? That is so pretty. These all have magnetic closures as well. And I found a lot of this Bite Beauty at TJ Maxx Marshalls. Rose Pearl, another prismatic. I mean, it even like gives a bit of an orange. I, I hope you can see that in the shift. The next one is a matte. And this is called Brioche. Ooh, that one is taking a time to go down, honey. Okay, this is another Prismatic. And this is Blush Pearl. This one is very opalescent. I'm gonna stick it right here. Ooh, 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 that one is warm. Oh no. Oh no, honey. That one was getting a little warm on me. Oh. I'm going to still use it. They blend it out a little bit so you can see it better. Hi, MK. The next one is Peacock Pearl, another prismatic. Peacock Pearl. I mean, golly, honey, get into Peacock Pearl. I will, Wild Honey. That's the only one that was melting. I wonder if it's just the formula is a little different. This one shifts from purple to that marine blue, like peacock feathers. Gorgeous. We've got praline, which is a matte multi-stick. There's praline. Almond, which is another matte. Yeah, I really like these. I grabbed these up. I think they were $5 a piece at TJ Maxx. Had me a good old time in there. So again, that's almond. They are, yeah. Um, the prismatic ones, I would use them like highlighter maybe if that's going to be your cheek product. And then on the lips, it's a nice topper. Um, on the eyes, of course, it's a really gorgeous eyeshadow. I feel like 
all of the sort of prismatic ones, most people would gravitate to using them as eyeshadows. Um, and then the matte ones can truly be eyes, cheeks, lips. This is Bite Beauty. All of this um, that I've swatched is Bite Beauty on my arm. And this last one is Macaroon, which is another matte. There we go. Well, that is all of my Bite Beauty lip collection. You're welcome. All right. The bright one from here actually stained my hand. So let me go ahead and get that off. I like to show you guys like the staying power if it's stained, you know? So that's all the Bite Beauty. I'm gonna move into, I'm just gonna stick with this, I guess. Cause I wanna try to go by which brands I have a lot of. Agreed, yeah, thank you. here. All right, moving on to Wonder Beauty, Wonder 2 specifically. Wonder 2 sent me all of their new matte lipsticks. So I have those to show you here. They're called Must Have Matte. Hello, Empath Me. This one is called Needed Nude. Wonder Two are the creators of Wonder Brow. So their brand is just called Wonder Two. This next color, Better Burgundy. It doesn't look burgundy to me. What do y'all think? It's pretty, it just doesn't look burgundy. The next one, Gimme Red. Really nice lightweight matte formula. And this is Crush for Coral. Yeah, I agree. But they're all really beautiful colors. Easy to wear, you know, like everyday shades to me, which I think is really nice. Something for everybody, I feel. This one right here is very cute. I love that. And of course, I would wear the heck out of this. Only a few in here. I have some that I only have one of. So I'm going to show those to you before we move on. Yeah. All the ones that I only have one, I'm going to show you right now. So... We've got this lip gloss from Juvia's Place that is part of the Fumi Disco Collection. And this is called Disco Fever. It's a clear gloss with a ton of shimmer in it. It's got some really pretty shimmer, like blue and white shimmer, blue and silver, sorry. With a little bit of a purple iridescent, gorgeous. Another shimmery, a uh, lightweight formula is this Charlotte Tilbury. My gosh, that is tiny. The name is called Lucky Diamonds. That's the name of the, the shade, but I can't read the name of the product. It's really tiny. 
but it's a very pretty color. I think it looks like rose gold. Next, I have a lipstick from Colored Rain, and this is called the Wit Lipstick. It's a standard satin formula. Oh no, it's matte. It just looks shiny. The bullet looks shiny, but this is actually matte. I like that shade. Wit. I like barely remember I have it. That is so pretty. This one is from Oma Beauty. And this is from the Black Magic collection that Jackie Ina did with them. I think it was Jackie Ina and Patrick Starr had um, their own collaboration with them. And this is Bahia. So this is another one of those lipsticks that has like the sparkle on the outside. Let me down a little bit. And that's Bahia. Isn't that pretty? What's going on? Last but not least, we have from Propa Beauty, one of their original shades and it's called Focused. Now that's a good, that's a good nude for me. And that's a great way to transition into Mented because Mented is another black owned, women owned um, makeup line that started with nude lipsticks for women of color. Do you need a diaper for her or a pull up or is she getting in the tub? I agree. Let's move on to Minted. I have six of their lipsticks. My bad. Okay, six of their matte lipsticks. This first one is Brown Bear. Wow, that one's super close to my skin tone. <laughs> that is Brown Bear. We've got Foxy Brown. These are so smooth. Let me just get that last bit of whatever is staining me off. We've got Nude Lala. Peach, please. I think this is one of my favorites. Peach, please. That is such a good peach for brown women. Look at that. Dark Night. And lastly, Pretty in Pink. Like what a great range. So those are all my minted lipsticks in the matte formula. from Mac. Let me 
make sure my hand is dry. It's my YouTube name with a dollar sign in front of it. Can somebody post that for me, please? <clears throat> so I have three of Mac's newly formulated matte lipsticks. These came out, I feel like these came out 2019. I'm like the end of 2019, you guys. And they're called the Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color. I have three of them. I have Crossfade, Sorry Not Sorry, and Resort Season. These are so cute. This first one I'm swatching is Crossfade. And it has like an hourglass shaped applicator so that you can like close your lips around it and get the majority of it on. Thank you, Lemonade Stan and Sunsa Ray and Lock Maiden. So Aunt Kathy, that's my cash app. <laughs> that is crossfaded, you guys. Next is Sorry Not Sorry. All right. Look at that. Now these do have like a very powdery matte finish to them because of the name. They're still comfortable to wear. It doesn't feel like crusty or anything. I liked it. Crossfade, sorry, not sorry. And resort season. I think this is my favorite one. Yeah. And that is resort season. So glad to hear that. Yeah, they do. Um, and I think they took the advice. Oh, thank you, Lockmaid. <laughs> but yeah, this, this formula is an improvement on, remember when Matt came out with those liquid lipsticks? Maybe just a couple years back, I want to say 2018, maybe two, yeah, 2018-ish. And they got the worst reviews. Like people hated it. Hi, Monica. So these were reformulated and they do work better. Definitely work a lot better. So I got three and I like these three. I think this is a good sort of like comprehensive everyday, like I would wear these, all three of these. So I'm happy with those three. I don't think I need any more. They were $25. So it wasn't like crazy break the bank, but it also wasn't, it wasn't what their lipsticks cost, right? <laughs> a little more than that. Next, let's finish off what's in my little drawer here so I can fill it back up. So I have this from the holiday collection from Hourglass and it was the Dawn and Dusk, I believe. This is the refillable lipstick pen that they have. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this one is at dusk and then there's one that's at dawn which is inside here already, but I'm gonna swatch the refill. So this is at dusk, pretty, pretty shade, beautiful formula. And then this is at dawn, which is already in here. And this is like a nude. So your daytime and your nighttime, right? There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this back up. And I have two lipsticks from Dolce & Gabbana that I do not have caps for. We hopefully have heard that story before already. Oh, you did? Yeah, they sell MAC at the CCO as well. All my Fenty, all my Bite Beauty can go back in there as well. Here's my... Wonders can go back in here. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and swatch these. These are really easy. Oh, you didn't hear the story, Jamila? <laughs> okay. So I originally bought these from Harrods and they had the, you know, I knew they were the customizable caps, but they were all sold out. So I was thinking that I'll, oh, I'll just wait until they come back in stock. They took a year before they came back in stock. And by that time I was like, I'm not spending $30 just to get two $20 caps. <laughs> like I literally refused. I think one of my subscribers, I can't remember which one, offered to send them to me from the Emirates. So hopefully that comes soon. Yeah, they have the cases. I just, you know, if I make a, if I make a Harrods order, I'll throw it in. But right now I'm just like, you know, not even really thinking about it like that. It, except for when I go to grab them. <laughs> then I'm like, I can't even display this because it's like naked. <laughs> So they're called the only one lipsticks and these are the satin formula. This one is Joyful Peach. Very pretty, very, very moisturizing. So I would be careful with these, only take, only twist up what you need because these, these can very easily break. And they haven't broke on me yet, but they can. This next one I'm showing you is Lovely Tan. They're just, you know, pretty nudes. But I said, I'm not buying another Dolce & Gabbana lip product until I get the darn um, caps, the customizable caps. But imagine me buying the caps and spending more on shipping than the caps cost. It's just not, it's not realistic. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll wait to place a Harrods order, like a full Harrods order and just throw them in. Those two are Dolce & Gabbana. And then I have two Natasha Denona glosses. Right, yeah. And it's getting warmer, so I think I'm actually gonna go through my collection and put some stuff in like a Tupperware container in the refrigerator. So th these are the Lip Euphorias that came out with the bronze collection. Yeah, I've heard Liberty London does better with shipping, but they also, yeah, like you said, they don't have the greatest selection. Yeah, Lemonade Stand, yeah. The Canadian shipping is an arm and a leg. I had a Canadian um, giveaway winner, and I was like, oh, all right. That's how, okay. <laughs> That's how much that costs. So this one is caramel. This one's caramel. Very pretty. Yeah, Jamila. I um I have a couple more Natasha's coming up for you. Her I Need a Nude selection is really beautiful. Next is the deepest of the glosses, and that is chestnut. I like these a lot. You know, I have so much stuff that I don't always remember to showcase these, but I do really like them. No, um, only because this D and G at the bottom is where it connects. So it would have to be like a, an amazing coincidence if I were to get a cap that would actually fit it. And then for the rest of my Natasha, I have four I Need a Nude lipsticks. I'll start with um, the one that came with the Love Collection, I believe, because it's like pink. So I think this one came with the Love Collection and it's called Amorosa. This is the only one of the like the light, milkier, lighter nudes that I thought was flattering on me. This shade is a shade that I absolutely will use a liner for. So I don't look at it and go, oh, that's all over my lips. No, it's definitely like to mix with a new, uh, dark lip liner to create a kind of nude shade. But I like the tone of it better than Maria and whatever the other one was that she came out with. And then these are the original I Need a Nude lipsticks that come in the white packaging. And I have the three deepest ones. I have Lala, Naya, and Nati. Here's Nati, which I believe is the warm dark brown. Yeah, very pretty. Nati is a warm dark brown. 
Lala is a cool dark brown. And I want to intentionally put them side by side so we can see the difference. So that's a cool tone, dark brown right there. And then a warm tone, dark brown right there. And then Naya is my actual nude out of the bunch. These are $25 each. The packaging is magnetic for anybody who is curious. And these formulas are so pretty. The unsung hero of the Natasha Denona cosmetic house. She's definitely more known for her eyeshadow, but I think that I need a nude collection is beautiful. All right, so now we're moving into my kind of more outliers. <laughs> I don't have blush honey, so I don't know. I don't know how Naya compares to that one. It does sound like a pretty shade though. Okay, I have two Sisley lipsticks and then I have a Becca lipstick and a Killian lipstick. See, the, they're like random, Patrick Ta. So I kind of keep them in like a little tray. Yeah. So this first one is from Becca and it's the shade Taupe. And this is from their latest collection of lipsticks and lip liners. Very pretty formula, very pretty shade. Pretty standard lipstick formula and bullet. It comes, you know, with the Becca logo on the top. It's very simply packaged, but very pretty. And then this is my one and only Killian lipstick. It's from the matte formula. And this one is Crystal Rose number 255. It smells like love, don't be shy. They're called perfume lipsticks too, because they all have a scent based on one of his fragrances. And as you can see, it looks just like the side of the love, don't be shy bottle. And then it has the K on top. I do wild honey. Carolina Herrera is in part one. I already uh, swatched all of those. So there is Crystal Rose. And this Patrick Ta is called She's Not From Here. This is the orange one, of course, right? I have the pencil to go with it. There she is. This is a drier matte formula. And then I have two, as I mentioned, Sisley lipsticks. These are number 33 and number 29. So I'll put these on the side here. All right, that's 33. And then this one is 29. I love the shape of the bullet on the Sisleys because you can really get like kind of line your lips the different um, angles and stuff are really good for different lip shapes. I think that's cool. So this one on the inside is number 33 and this one on the outside is number 29. And these formulas are beautiful. Well, yes, prior priority number one, right? School first, makeup second, as much as I don't want to say that, that's true. <laughs> now, I, for the life of me, do not know where my other Gucci uh, balm is. It might be in one of my purses. Let me actually, let me go grab it. Let me see if I have it here. Was I wearing that one? One second. I 
Let's see if I got it in here. Ah, yes. Here it is. Go back. Okay. So I have my two Gucci lip shines. And the one is my cousin Rachel. Here's my cousin Rachel. Love this type of formula. And I feel like these last, like they really stick to your lips. I love that feeling. And then this one here is Peggy Tope. I really like it in this formula. So that's Peggy Tope on the bottom and my cousin Rachel on the top. As much as I want more of these, I'm gonna chill out. You know, these are perfect. These will get you through, you know? I have two of the NARS matte balms. I don't know if you guys have heard of these, but these came out at the same time as the air, the air matte blushes it was like around that time where they were all kind of it was like a running scene so this one is called dangerous affair and it's a good amount of pigmentation now that's one swipe we'll go over it one more there we go so it does build that's dangerous affair and then this is whiplash right and next I'm gonna be swatching my Chanel and I only have four Chanel lip products I used to have five but I gave one to my mom the the duo sided lip color I ended up giving to my mom to keep those a little neat as neat as I can child all right the NARS bombs mm-hmm yeah they're really really nice so these few that are coming up these are all Rouge Allure ink Rouge Allure lac yeah three are Rouge Allure inks and then there's one Rouge Allure lac now the Rouge Allure Lock is supposed to replace the double-sided or be re it's a new formulation of the double-sided ones. I cannot remember what they're called for the life of me, but um, it's supposed to just meld the formulas together. I feel like I have a harder time building this up than I did with the first one. Yeah, it is a great formula. I think I'm gonna buy another one since I gave mine to my mom. I think I'm just gonna buy it again because I don't feel like this really replaces it. It's pretty, no denying that. And this shade is, oh, let me put the cap on, honey. This shade is Dark Blossom. I mean, that's gorgeous. I really like that. But I don't feel like it replaces that formula, really. I prefer to be able to build up my color first. And then once that sets, I want to put my shine on afterwards. I think that, you know, that added step is necessary for me to get the pigmentation that I'm after instead of trying to build on top of on top of this. It only it gives me like a medium opacity. The next one is Rouge Allure Ink, and these are liquid lipsticks. Very thin formula, so it's very comfortable. And this one is number 178, Rosy Brown. So gorgeous. Like, y'all know that's, that's like me right there. That's my kind of nude. 
So Rosie Brown. <laughs> she was having so much fun in the tub. Um, this next one is copper, metallic copper. And that number is, cannot read it, 209. This is so pretty. I had to get try the metallic formula because I just feel like that's such an interesting, interesting take on a metallic liquid lip. More subdued, more sophisticated. It's really, really pretty. And last one. No, baby, get back in the tub. You can take your tablet with you if you want. Hello, Roberta. The last one is 180 chocolate. This I use as a liner because it's got like a, a beautiful neutralness to it. Like ganache. Looks like ganache. Thank you, Roberta. Yes. Did you potty? Okay. I want you to get back in the tub. Did daddy wash you? Okay, you can leave it here, but you got to go get back in the tub, baby, because daddy's got to wash you. Get back in the tub. I, I, I. Get back in the tub, please. You asked for a bath. Now, shoot. No, wild honey, I don't have any Lisa Eldridge. <clears throat> Okay, so the last item or the last brand that is in this tray here is going to be Merit. And Merit only has one lip product for now. It's the lip oils, and I have all four. So I'll go ahead and swatch those for you. The first one I picked up was Marrakesh, so I want to swatch that one first. Yeah. The first one I picked up is Marrakesh. I think they have a nice pigmentation for a lip oil. The formula is not oily and um, it gives a nice nourishment to the lip. The next shade is going to be Pink Beet. You guys like different angles. We've got Au Naturel, which I actually thought was going to be too light, but it's not. Because it's a sheer formula, it's very complimentary. So there's Au Naturel. Oh, does it? Wow. That might be the like travel size of it all. They've reformulated with the new blush palette. And the orgasm actually looks really good now. But the last shade here is going to be Sangria. This is the one I use the most. There it is. I find that that very that suits me the most. Especially if I'm doing like a no makeup makeup face and I want to like give a little enhancement to my lips. I like to use this darker one. Yes, baby. Can't do that right now, honey. Just wait for daddy. He's coming. She is quite annoyed at not getting my attention. Baby, what's the matter? What's wrong? Let me not play myself, okay? <laughs> so close to playing myself. Hey, hey, hey.
is almost everybody the last container I have is this one. And that's it. The Robinson. Thank you, thank you, Rob Honey. All right, so I'm gonna start off with Suku since they're right here. I have three from Suku. These are their lip, their comfort lip. And I have two fluid fog and I have one fluid glow. So two fluid fogs, we'll start there. This first one is number three. Is number three. Next one is number eight. Again, this is the fluid fog. So it's their soft matte formula. This looks surprisingly great on number eight in the fluid fog. And then the last one is the Fluid Glow. This is number seven. Next up, I have three from M Cosmetics. This one is Rose Nude. These are all matte formulas. Oh, I got that at the last minute, didn't I? Oh, so y'all didn't hear anything, did you? I'm sorry. Let me go over those again. Thankfully, I only swatched three. So from Suku, I have the Comfort Lip Fluid Fog in the shade 3, 8, and then the Fluid Glow in shade 7. Okay, thank goodness. So now we're on to M Cosmetics, and this is Rose Nude. These are all matte formulas. And this reminds me more of an old school matte with the way that it dries down. So that's Rose Nude Magic Hour. Very whipped texture here. So that's Magic Hour. And Faded Clementine. This is my favorite out of the three. Next is Pat McGrath. Nala, what is the matter? What's wrong? <coughs> what happened? <coughs> Mom, give me her towel. Solomon, can you give me your towel, please, so I can wrap her up so she's not naked on live TV? Nala, I'm asking you where it
I think she, I don't know, something happened with her arm. She's not exactly clear about it. So now they can both sleep. Anyway, I'm almost done. Pat McGrath. I don't even know if I swatched this. So this is Divine Rose. This is the new liquid lipstick formulas. Looks like I only have one Tower 28. This is the Shine On Lip Jelly in Fire. Thank you, MK. That's fire. This formula feels extremely comfortable. 
maintains its shine for a long time and it gives just enough color. This next one is from Patrick Ta. This is more of a lip topper, I would say. This one is called, she's an influencer. I think I picked this up because of the name, but I actually really like the way it looks on top of other lipsticks. Got a really nice amount of shimmer in there. Minted. I only have one of their lip glosses, but I think it's really pretty. And this is Bury Me. Definitely one that you can wear on its own in terms of opacity. Next up are my Ilia Glossy Balms, I believe they're called. Tinted, yeah, Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. And I have three. You too, Roberta, take care. This first shade is Maybe Violet. Very pale colored purple. That's Maybe Violet. And then we have Linger. And then Saint. And Saint is probably my favorite shade out of these three. Next up are going to be my Giorgio Armani Lip Maestros. I only have four so far, but these are some really great colors. And this formula in and of itself is really, really beautiful. These are always on sale on the Giorgio Armani website. <laughs> and I believe they also sell Giorgio Armani at the Luxury Beauty Outlet. Thank you, Anne. I appreciate that as well. This shade is number 207. Oh, it's going to be another one where I have to list it for you guys because it is so tiny on here. But it's number 207. This is a whipped liquid lipstick formula. Very comfortable. Comfortable matte. But that is 207. And these are again called the Lip Maestros. Oh, it's missing. I think this is number 400. I'm not mistaken. The sticker is missing, so I don't know the name of this one. The next one is number 401, which I believe is Tibetan Orange. And last but not least is number 525. I feel like I need a brown or something like that from this collection. Maybe even like a plum, but I think this is a good start. Thank you, Wild Honey. And I think we're in the home stretch. The last five are Marc Jacobs lip glosses. Yeah. Most of these are actually like pretty sheer. This one is Uproar, number 336, I want to say, Uproar. So yeah, 
the next year formula. Y'all forgot to tell me my mic was off again. <laughs> Here I was thinking it was on. I hope y'all were able to hear me okay. And then we have forbidden fruit. Thank you, Elaine. 334. It's 334 forbidden fruit. A really nice orange. This is my only shimmer, and it is called Genie's Kiss number 384. Hope you all can see all of that like nice shimmer in there. We have 358 Boys Don't Cry. That's pretty cool. That reminds me of Immortel a little. I think it's more blue leaning. Whip It, number 304 is the last one. And so we are finished. <laughs> So I'll have to watch this back to give you guys the full list again, but hopefully I can finish that up today. Um, I'm going to go cook a little dinner and then I'll get to work on the description box for y'all. So that is it. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for sticking around. Thank you for your patience and understanding. <laughs> I appreciate you all so much. And I was happy to share them with you. I hope that the swatches maybe help you guys come up with a better de decision of how, you know, you want to, you know, how these look on deep skin and help you make a decision on what to purchase for yourselves. And with that, I am going to go. <laughs> you all have a good night, good day, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you next time. Bye.